friends, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Uh, as you saw in that video, I've been talking about steering a lure using its hook isn't the coil memory to uh, kind of persuade the lure to go in the direction you want. Now this can be used if you have a lure that's pulling in a certain direction and you want to make it pull a different way or if like what I like to do I like getting all my stuff way out in the clean water. Um, I will say just a quick um, you know uh, discretion with this is just be careful you don't overdo it and uh, affect the action of the lure or if you if you persuade it too much what you may end up having happen is it pulls way too far and will end up pulling out pulling out and getting to the end of its leash the leader being its leash and pulling it back and doing a, a weird snap back or something like that you don't want to do that you want it to stay very consistent so let me show you what I like to do with Rick this is Rick we love Rick this is a XL bandit with a Kona cut uh, it's a tantrum lure my buddy Nick makes it this is in my opinion, probably one of, if not the best lure he makes. Uh, I'm biased because I've probably caught more fish over 500 on this uh, than any other lure this season. Well, it's up there with one of the tops. It, it, had, a, it had a run where it was just getting smoked, but it, it's a really great lure. I love it, but um, I like to get this thing out really far in that clean water. And so this is how I like to do it. So you hear us talking about coil memory so if you look at this coil you know look how now this is also key to at the end of the day how you coil your your how you coil your your leader i have seen guys that coil like super tight coils like this no 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 no, no. we don't want that you want it to naturally sit how it's going to sit which is basically how it comes in the bag which is a pretty big coil okay so you know at the end of the day you want to keep a very big even coil before you put your rubber band on it okay that's important when you're storing your lures all right further to that if you notice here how it has especially this 530 extra hard which i highly recommend it has a specific memory to it okay it wants to go a certain way right so generally what we like to say is on your lures have your memory coming straight over the top so coming like this right now the advanced way of doing this and what I'm talking about steering a lure is now using your coil to persuade your lure to go a certain way. So here's our coil coming straight over the top. Okay. And what I want to do, I find Rick likes it right about there. You're gonna have to mess around. Okay. Some lures like them right off the side. Some like them different ways. Rick, I find likes it right about like that. Okay. And depending on the weather, I may move it a little bit here or there. Okay. But it likes it right around that uh, 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock uh, on, on the face of the clock here, okay? And as you can see now, that coil is now pulling it this way, okay? So if I were to just hold it straight, okay? If I were to hold this like this and then let go of the lure, you'll see the lure will turn like that, okay? So as you can see, it's pulling like this, okay? Right at that 10 point. Now that's gonna push this lure this way, but it's still gonna give an upward pull to create the explosion that you want from the head. Now, here's the next bit. You'll need to use a toothpick or something to, to make it so you can control your, your leader here and then turn your hook where you want. But as you can see, my hook is not straight. It's to the side here. Notice that? See how it's pulled to the side like this? You know, generally, you're gonna have your hook straight up and down like that, right? Now, in turning it, okay, we now have it as a rudder and it's gonna act to actually pull this lure the direction that we want it to go, okay? Um, whatever way that is. Um, and you'll have to fiddle around with this a little bit, but you've seen the basics, you've seen how to mess around with it and just go out on a flat calm day and mess around, fiddle around. Like I said, you'll have to use a toothpick to hold the, the leader where you wanna put it when you set your hook how it is. But that's how I like to steer them. Take it or leave it, little two cents for you, little secret out there for you guys it's pretty valuable if you know how to use it right and like i said like i always say lure fishing is an art it's uh you're learning stuff every day it's not as simple as just throwing a couple lures out there and going a certain speed so enjoy it take it what i said get those lures out in the clean water catch them up